Hi everyone, uh, in this uh, video tutorial uh, I'll show you how you can um, apply Earth Engine uh, algorithm to derive uh, NDVI, Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, using two methods. Um, and I'll show you how you can convert uh, the Landsat satellite image, uh, this image, into uh, NDVI, a Normalized Vegetation Index. So. Uh, I'll show you uh, uh, a JavaScript code, uh, uh, how to implement that, uh, converting um, Landsat multispectral bands, in this case Landsat 8, into uh, NDVI. And we'll see uh, a couple of methods. The first one is uh, I'm using a map algebra um, um, algorithm. And the second one is actually um, a built-in Erzingen NDVI function. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing is I will, um, uh, I've already written the script uh, for demo purpose. And the first thing is let's import the Landsat data. Uh, I'll use Landsat 8 here. And I'll just go back. And so for this purpose, I'll use a Landsat 8, uh, you know, collection one and tier one, uh, just the raw data. And I'll click import. That way, it will import the Landsat data, so I don't have to memorize, you know, the image collection ID and whatnot. So it's pretty easy, right? Um, and I'll call it LA uh, L8 in row. That way, I can remember it's a Landsat 8 and it's a row data, the the row um, uh, data collection. Okay. And as always, uh, this is a global data. It's a large data. Uh, instead of working with this data. I would like to subset it to a smaller region, right? Um, so in this case, I'll import the um, countries database, which is a global data. And I'll import this as uh, Erzingen EE feature collection. So it's a polygon. And after that, I will uh, subset, uh, you know, one country uh, so that I'll have a smaller, um, you know, region of uh, study. In this case, I'll filter by, um, for example, here, Uganda, right? Uh, a small, uh, you know, African country. Um, I prefer, I just chose that due to the smaller size of the, you know, the, the area. And so I'll call this country's database and, um, and apply filter. So filter, EE filter equal country name, NA. That means um, country NA is the attribute or the field that stores the can the name of the country for each country. So in this case, I'll field, um, I'll call uh, Uganda. So that way I have my region of interest created already. And next one is to actually um, apply the um, simple um, import uh, the image and also uh, apply um, the Erzingen um, simple cloud composite which can generate um you know a pretty uh, nice looking um image and if you're interested you can um look at the earth engine algorithms and then look at landsat here uh, let me just uh landsat here so you can uh, find the ee algorithms landsat simple composite algorithm if you click here it will show you the details of that that code um, so anyway so this is a function that uh, calls the earth engine um, landsat simple composite algorithm and it requires a couple of parameters so you need to provide a collection name so our collection name is l8 row this is the collection that we imported from the earth engine data library right and because it's a long time series data we need to filter it by date, right? Now, uh, we need to um, only um, select from the, the long time series, we need to only select uh, the um, 27 data, the year 27, that spans from January to December, right? So that's just uh, about 12 months of data, okay? And I'll, I'll keep the um, data type as float. I'll, I'll, I'll mark it as true. And so this function, what it does is it will import the image, the raw image, the raw Landsat image collection. And it will actually uh, generate a cloud-free mosaic. 
and once we execute that this bit of code is uh, so we'll create a, a color uh, visualization parameter when we um, execute the the code we'll have some nice looking you know visualization here on the map canvas for the landsat image all right so i'll call it true viz true color viz to remember that it's a true color composite and i'll provide my band combination here uh, band 4 band 3 and band 2 of landsat 8 which is the red uh, um, green and blue bands and i'll also define the minimum and maximum um, uh, reflectance values and finally i'll add um, the um, landsat 8 composite which i created here uh, which is a single uh, image which uh, which is a single image um, uh, that has less cloud contamination or a cloud free image right and I'll clip it by my steady region here, uh, my ROI, and also call the color, um, uh, the visualization parameter here, uh, true color viz. And then I'll name it uh, composite here. Uh, and so that I remember it's uh, the Landsat composite when I see it here on the layer. And actually, I'll go ahead and execute that. So what we are doing now is just simply, uh, you know, visualizing the Landsat image. And so instead of just simply visualizing, let's create a map center object uh, because we're not seeing anything here, right? That's because the it it, it will not, uh, you know, Earth Engine. If you don't specifically adjust the zoom um, level, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't adjust it automatically, so I have to customize. Uh, I have to write a custom code to do that. So map center object will will do that. Uh, map center object, okay. And I'll provide that ROI and maybe define the zoom level here six. Now let's execute. Hopefully we'll just zoom into our study area, which is uh, Uganda in this case. Excellent. So it sounds like it's zooming here. So what we have done here is just, um, you know, import the raw Landsat image and apply uh, a simple uh, Landsat composite um, algorithm. And now what we have is a pretty nice looking uh, Landsat 8 image, um, uh, image composite, uh, which is cloud free. And so now next is to use this data uh, to use this image to generate uh, uh, NDVI, and we'll use uh, we'll apply two methods. The first one is uh, we'll use a map algebra um, function uh, or map algebra approach, where we'll be using um, simply just you know call the near infrared and the red bands, and just apply the regular. Um, you know NDVI calculation if you will NDVI if you go to um, encyclopedia and the formula for NDVI is uh, let me show you here so NDVI is um, normalized um, near infrared minus rate uh, and uh, that's the numerator and the denominator is near infrared plus rate so that's the calculation or the formula to uh, uh, produce uh, NDVI. So what we're doing here is just near infrared minus red. If you go to the script here, what we're doing is near infrared subtract red. That's what we, we are exactly doing this, right? And the, the denominator is near infrared plus red, right? And then we're doing the same. The denominator is uh, near infrared at red. So we're just applying that um, NDVI formula but instead of using a function, we're just using a simple map algebra, right? And that will generate NDVI. And let's add that data to our map canvas here by using map add um, a layer function. And let's call this NDVI um, and here. And, and then clip it by steady region again. Um, here is my steady region ROI and let's define the minimum and maximum value and let's just create a you know um, I can I can 
do this uh, maybe blue uh, and let's just make change that so um, I'll name it I'll name the layer name as map algebra and DVI yeah when I see it here so that way so this is the first NDVI that we have generated using a map algebra approach and let's go ahead and execute that and I need just um, the NDVI image um, I think let's change the color here okay it doesn't look good when when I change it to blue so perfect I think this looks better okay so this is NDVI generated using this uh, Landsat um, 8 image uh, composite and we are able to generate NDVI values actually we can go ahead and inspect that um, for example here if you click here you'll have the NDVI value um, the map algebra NDVI value here 0 0.47 you can just uh, move into different areas and the value change right here the the uh, map algebra um, um, NDVI value 0 0.5 so so that's uh, our first NDVI calculation using the map algebra approach and let's go ahead and uh, try the other approach uh, which is um, actually calling the normalized difference vegetation index um, if you will and this is just using the earth engine built-in normalized difference function you don't need to apply the map algebra you know uh, approach uh, it will automatically do that what you need to do is define the bands right so the near infrared band here band 5 and the um, uh, the the red band uh, here band 4 and uh, I can rename the function here as function NDVI and that way um, it's pretty simple just calling that um, Earth Engine built-in NDVI uh, function it will automatically uh, calculate that and one thing you need to do is just provide that image which is um, our image here uh, the um, cloud free Landsat um, image here so you need to provide that and once you um, execute that you need to you will have um, uh, uh, another version of NDVI which is uh, calculated using this algorithm and let's just load that so this is NDVI 2 right the first one is NDVI uh, you know what which we have done using the map algebra algorithm and the second one is NDVI 2 so we'll call NDVI 2 to load it on the map canvas here and let's clip it actually with uh, region of interest which is um, Uganda here and let's just uh, generate uh, our second uh, NDVI and um, um, we can call it function NDVI uh, when we see it here alright let's just um, execute that so let's just uh, load only function NDVI okay so that's our um, second approach of calculating uh, NDVI values um, using the Earth Engine built-in um, you know, algorithm, which is um, NDVI difference.